Greetings fellow and future star citizens, Greyheaded Gamer here and we're back in CryEngine. Today we're going to uh, look at getting rid of the yellow textures, uh, which are actually missing textures. So uh, let's load up our tutorial island, we're going to set something down on our island and then we are going to fix the ugly yellowness. Alright, so here's our freelancer from our last video. We're going to go into, let's get rid of this error report, we're going to go into brush over on your roll up bar come down to objects. I tell you what, let's just go down here to the filter and we're going to search fish tank. Here is our fish tank. Double click. Ah, there is a good fine, fine example of our yellowing texture. Uh, you should see Star Citizen Island right now. It is an absolute horrible mess. So the reason for this yellow texture is when we move the assets over from Star Citizen into our version of CryEngine, uh, there is a a problem with the the materials and textures moving over. They swap in a certain spot, which gives us this yellow texture. So once you have your object selected, you'll come over to the roll-up bar, and uh, you'll see here in this is the materials bar. You'll click on that, and Sometimes it comes up empty the first time you click it, so you click it again, and here's our fish tank textures. Now if you'll notice, I'll uh, move this over a tad, and I'll move our view so we can see our fish tank as well. There we go. Uh, you'll see the yellowish tint in these textures here. So uh, the plants and all, uh, these all look good. So tank unique. We'll click on it, and you see how it flashes over there? That's to show you which textures that is. So once you have that selected, if you come down here to the second diffuse map, this is a DDNA file. Now this file, I'll highlight here, should actually be in this spot down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you just double click it to highlight it, right click it, copy, and then click down below and paste and you'll notice that nothing changes over here that's because we have to put our DIF file here and it might sound a little complicated but it's actually very simple so come back up and to this uh, uh, the one we copied and come right over to your little three dots which is your browse button and when you click it it'll take you to the file that that actual DDNA file is in and if you look right underneath it here's your DIFF file so the idea is just to move the DDNA file one down and then that one that you copied you need to change to the DIFF file which is here so you click it hit open boom and now if you look at our fish tank now when you click on this texture it is now nice wood panel nice dark textures fixed so let's do it one more time here there's all your yellow textures we'll come down double click this ddna file copy and paste it one below and then come up here to your browse button there's your ddna file and here's your diff file now it's not always going to be uh, a diff file every once in a while this is a gloss file um, but you'll get the hang of it this will put you in the right spot to where you need to get your files and if you look it's aluminum clean gray UEE 02 for the DN, DDNA and the DIFF file so you're using the same collection of uh, materials and textures it's just different file extensions. One's a bump map, I believe, and one's a diffuse map. The IFF is the diffuse. So once that's done, come over, sand looks good. If you click on it, and you'll notice there is, this is a totally different setup for your texture map. There is no bump, bump file. And then your glass, it's using my cube map for the reflection. So you're getting some strange colors and all because we don't really have anything to reflect off of the horizontal plane and then the proxy all these that nothing needs to be done 
So now that it's complete, X out of that, and there is your textured fish tank. Nice and ready to go. No more ugly yellow textures. And uh, so anyway, there is your fixing your yellow textures. That's a pretty important part of this uh, of this uh, uh, deal with us using CryEngine. That's it's very Star Citizen specific uh, because of the way the textures and materials move over. But um, that was one thing that really was messing with me when I first started to uh, mess with the CryEngine was those yellow textures. And you'll notice in my first few videos, I have a, like a yellow constellation. And thanks, of course, to Mr. Fiendish Feather. He straightened me out with that issue. So there you go, guys. How to get rid of your yellow textures. Select object, materials, pick your yellow object, and then switch these two files around. And you will be good to go. And it's, it's the same with all of them. Um, there may be, like I said, might not have a diffuse map. It might have a gloss map or something. But you just look for the same file structure as far as the uh, UEE clean gray UEE or you know it, it may be something like rusted metal or whatever it is but just stay within the same uh, group of files and you'll be fine thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out all the other star citizen youtubers out there and if you have any other questions about CryEngine I will try my best to answer them and uh on our next tutorial, maybe we'll go ahead and start stitching some assets together to actually build a structure. I'm um, working a lot of hours right now, so I'm having a hard time making any videos. But I'll try to do it as soon as I can, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>